Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss what is overdrive voltage in case of MOSFET, okay? The another name of overdrive voltage is effective voltage, okay? So what is that? Let us try to understand with respect to NMOS point of view. Why I am discussing with NMOS? Because uh, throughout my video lectures, you will get mostly videos related to NMOS only because NMOS has lots of advantage over PMOS. One of the major advantages PMOS is very slower compared to NMOS because in NMOS the uh, charge carriers are basically electrons and in PMOS the charge carriers are holes. Holes are the mobility of holes is lesser than mobility of electrons as you know from semiconductor device and circuit. So most of our uh, modern circuits are designed based on NMOS inverters only. But if you are considering digital electronics, then you require both NMOS and PMOS. But for the analog electronics point of view, mostly we will focus on NMOS. Okay, so let us try to understand. See, already in my previous video, I have discussed in detail about the device operation and physical structure of the MOSFET. If you want to check the detailed explanation, please go through the link given in the description, okay? So basically, we started from this structure that uh, body we have not considered because, because body, body is short circuited with source. See, initially source and drain both are rounded and we started applying positive gate voltage in the gate, uh, um, uh, positive voltage in the gate, okay? So as a result, what will happen? There are minority electrons, minority charge carrier electrons which are present in the P-type substrate will come from downward to the upward direction due to attraction force created between negatively charged electrons and this positive potential applied in the gate. So initially, as just below the insulator layer here in this portion, in this P-type substrate part, there are holes. So initially, holes will recombine with the upcoming electrons and they will form a depletion region of negative charges, okay? All these things I have explained in detail. Now, if you further increase in gate voltage, what will happen? More and more electrons, which are minority carriers in the P-type substrate, will come from the downward to the upward direction, okay? And then they will accumulate just below the insulator layer and the next structure will look like this one, okay? And as a result, in between source and drain, a free electron channel will be formed, right? These things you all know. Now, you just try to understand that minimum amount of gate voltage must has to be provided to start formation of the channel because initially when you are increasing gate voltage from 0 to onwards that is called threshold voltage 0 to threshold voltage that will not form any channel that will just uh, form one depression region of negative charges then with further increase in gate voltage more and more electrons will accumulate just below the insulator layer right so basically we can say if you are increasing gate voltage from 0 voltage uh, to uh, higher voltage in the positive uh, voltage direction. So what will happen? Initially, VTH amount of voltage is wasted. It is not used in formation of the channel in between source and drain. It is just used to start the formation or you can say it is just used to uh, recombine with in between uh, for the recombination in between holes and electrons, right? So basically, VTH voltage has no contribution in forming the channel just below the insulator. Try to feel it, try to realize it. Because if you don't have any feel in this portion, then you will very find it very difficult in further uh, discussions in MOSFETs. Okay, so try to understand. VTH voltage has no contribution in formation of channel. Okay, if you keep on increasing VG more than VTH, what will happen? More and more electrons will uh, come just below the insulator layer and they will form the channel, right? So basically we can say Vg minus Vth, okay? Vg minus Vth or you can see the excess voltage above Vth is basically the reason behind the formation of the channel in between source and drain, okay? That voltage is called overdriven voltage. So one more thing, I will just now show you the mathematical expression of overdriven voltage. Just before that, you remember one thing. In MOSFET, we generally short circuit the source. So as a result, what will happen? You 
can represent this vg as vgs also because vgs means vg minus vs vs is zero because source is connected to the ground so we can say right that vg is nothing but vgs so whatever we will consider we will consider potential with respect to source in mosfet so if you consider so as i told you over given voltage is the amount of voltage which is basically the vgs that is the gate applied gate voltage for n mos it is positive minus of p t h okay p t h okay that is the excess voltage above v t h which is the reason for formation of channel in between source and drain is called overdriven voltage so that the another name of this voltage is effective voltage because this is the reason in formation of channel okay in mosfet discussion we will consider this voltage as p o v that is overdrive voltage so that o for overdrive and v for voltage okay this is very important uh, expression you must have to remember always whenever you are uh, try to uh, when you are trying to understand some mosfet operations okay this will help you a lot okay this is all for my this video if you have any doubt regarding mosfet device structure or physical operation please go through the link given in the description thank you for watching